Hey guys, Tony the Story Stars Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. My voice sounds weird today. It's because I've been coughing today. So, the weather changed a little bit and my recovering process has hindered. Now I'm coughing a little bit more. I don't know why, but it feels like a coughing with more progress. Something's getting coughed up. I don't know. Anyways. Today, we are doing the Room 101 10th year anniversary provided to us by Eric Smokwan. If you have one, thank you for looking for this because um, I haven't seen this around. So um, let's take a close look at the cigar, even though there's not a lot of information on this thing. Uh, I do like how this has this uh, shiny matte eggshell wall painting paint looking wrapper and it feels um it feels like a like a really fine grade sandpaper so it's gritty okay it is a uh, six by 50 i think originally when they were gonna release this was gonna be six by 52 but this is six by 50 i'm pretty sure it is uh the only thing i know about this thing is that it uses nicaraguan rosado wrapper and everything else is proprietary or not released um uh, so yeah, unfortunately, don't have too much particular information on this particular cigar. Okay, price at ten dollars MSRP. So, and uh, this cigar is made by Agent Fernandez, actually. Okay, now the only thing left is light it up and smoke it. Mmm, smells like earthy old socks. And a little bit of woodsiness. Ah! Leathery cocoa. And a little bit of grape. Not grape, like raisin. Raisin. Okay. That's a cold draw. <clears throat> Let's go. All right. Those pop don't count. Gotta let it go through. Woodsy, spice, pepper. Some sort of sweetness. Earthy. A little bit of mineral. Hmm. Uh...
I want to say there's something else, but the pepper just kills it. I can't really tell what it is. There's quite a bit of pepper. Spice. <clears throat> Nothing. Roughly about medium um, strength, I think. But the pepper, oh my god, it's strong. All right, it's a lot of pepper. It has a little bit of sourness to it, too. All right, let's smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right, so I was smoking it. I was like, oh, this draw is so weird. I'm not really getting a lot of flavor. I do get some flavor. Not a lot. It's just, it's like <clears throat> you, you, you take a draw and you had a draw, but nothing's burning. So I decided to pull and guess what? I got a tree. So now the draw is better. But basically woodsy tones, peppery. And there are a little bit of um, underlining sweetness to it. That pepper really burns. But that's pretty much it right now. So it's it's not crazy amount of transition or anything. Just that, that pepper just burns everything out. <clears throat> Would I say this is basic? No, not so far. Other than that construction issue and a tree. Uh, it smokes fine. Uh, so got to go into the second, third, and we'll see where that goes. Be right back. Second, third. The... The pepper died down. Woodsiness kind of came up, but the woodsiness wasn't like a absolute awesomeness woodsiness. I think it's missing some some different notes to kind of complement that. I mean, it's not a bad cigar. It's just something's lacking. I wish there's a little bit more other notes. That woodsy note is kind of boring. And the pepper really kills it. It, it, it. It's just so strong, it kills it. And now that it's all, all that you have is a woodsy note, it's kind of like, oh, that's a little bit boring too. I don't know. Right now, I think we're at $8. $8. But this is $10 cigar. It's not too far. But $8 cigar is, I don't know, $10, $10 cigar, but $8 is not too bad. It's not too bad. Construction issue and you know that being said, ten dollars not too bad. So, Luster, let's finish up and let's take a look at the band, which really isn't. You know what? Let's just look at the band right now because it's not a lot to talk about <clears throat> on the band. I'm gonna try to get this off without destroying the cigar. That is because I, I these like thick paper band, they don't lie to like come off easy. No, oh, jeez. All right, here we goes. Room 101, 10th year anniversary is an ANV. You know, 2009 to 2019. The back says no good deeds. I don't know why. But that's pretty much it. I mean, <clears throat> it gets to the point. I like it. It looks nice. Right? It, it, it does get to the point. It looks good. But, you know, in this black and white with the gold on this particular cigar, I think it's missing a... I don't know, a foot band or something. We'll have it looking nice. So, all right. So, yeah. Finish the last there. We'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> so, we're done. Uh, last there, as usual, taste went down a little bit. Just woodsiness. Pretty much it. Woodsiness and some, some sweetness. So, I would say this is a very basic cigar. So, at best I can give, $8. $8 is where I'm going to be. In fact, it should be $7 with that Excalibur. Uh, going on, but let's give it eight dollars. And I wouldn't say go out of your way to seek it out. It's room one on one. I mean, it's you know one of the one of those that okay, you would try it one time and see if you like it. If you don't, call it a day. Sometimes you have nothing to smoke. You know how this thing tastes like? Ten bucks, call it a day kind of thing. So I I, I don't I, I I don't particularly think that this cigar shines. It just tastes like a regular cigar, like an average. You know, a dollar core line cigar. Nothing crazy, nothing special, nothing I would say is out of the norm, right? It's one, room 101. I, I'm not really want to downplay room 101. They do make some 
um, specialty stuff, but I don't think they deliver on their specialty stuff's flavor. That's all. You know, like they they do make things uh, for people to collect and stuff like that, and that's pretty much it. And that, that's really mm, making a cigar that everybody can smoke, but nothing crazy, right? And, and that's pretty much it. So, anyways, that will be the review for today. Uh, thank you for watching, and thanks uh, Eric for finding the cigar for me. And um, if you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Listen to our podcast, get elsewhere, join our membership, and I'll see you guys in the next one.